Hi, I'm Fredrik Noren, and I'm going to give you a quick introduction to UnGit, a new Git user interface. Git is a version control system which is very powerful and neat in many ways, but it's got a pretty steep learning curve. UnGit tries to solve this, and the core idea is to show users what will happen, rather than uh, deferring them to documentation and building mental images of the model. Uh, so that's rather abstract, but let me show you what I mean. Uh, as an example, we're going to build a website dedicated to sleepy cats. I've already created a, an empty repository at GitHub, so let's get started with cloning it. Before we clone it though, I just want to show you how to install ungit. Uh, all you need is uh, node.js and git. Then you just type npm install dash g ungit. This will install a command line tool called ungit, and wherever you would normally type git something, you just type ungit and hit enter. Alright, so this is the ungit UI. What you can do from here is initialize an empty repository, or you can clone a repository. So we'll clone a repository. Alright, here we are. There's nothing in this repository yet. Let's create a file. I've already prepared an index.html. All right, so behind me here, you can see the new file showing up in the staging area. Here's all the changes that haven't been committed to Git yet. So let's commit this new file. The new file end up as a git node here. All right, perfect. Let's go and do some changes to the file. Let's add a paragraph. Okay, by just clicking the file here, you can see what changed in it. So this is the only thing that, that has changed since we last committed. Okay, perfect. Let's commit this new paragraph. Okay, so we now have two commits, the original one and the new one with a new paragraph. But let's say that I'm not completely happy with this new paragraph and I want to go back to the way it was before. Okay, let's, uh, let's do that. All we need to do is create a branch here and check out that branch. Okay, so we're back at where we started. Uh, let's do some other change instead. Let's change the header. Okay, so here's the new change. Let's commit that. Perfect. Okay, so we now have three commits. The original commit, the commit with a new paragraph, and the commit with a new header. The, new, the commit with a new paragraph is at the side like this in a smaller commit, because it's not really part of the main commit line here, and thus it's not part of the file as well. But let's say we changed our mind and we want to bring the new paragraph in as well. So in Git there's two ways to do this. You can add either merge your branches, like this, or you can rebase your new commits on top of the other one, like this. Okay, I think I want to rebase. Perfect, now all of the commits are in the main commit line. And all of the content is in the file. So, so far we've only worked locally, but what if we want to push this to Git now? Um, let's start with uh, moving master to the top here, because I want all of this to be on master. Okay, and then we'll just push master to GitHub.
Okay, what you see here now is the remote branch. And that's what's available on GitHub. Here's our local branch. If we check out the master branch now, and we do some additional changes. Okay, more changes. Let's commit the file. This commit will now only be available locally. On GitHub, this is still what master is. So to bring this change to GitHub, we need to push again. As you can see with the blue arrow, this will move the master up here. We can also reset and drop this change and go back to what we had on GitHub. Let's reset it and go back because I didn't really like the new paragraph in a way. Okay, and it's gone. So this was ungit. Uh, it's uh, free and open source and available on GitHub. Look below to see uh, to get an address to GitHub, and it's also available on NPM. Thanks for listening.